Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY refashion clothes. Today, I'm going to share with you how I make my summer crop top from old t-shirt. The first crop top is wrap crop top. I used a medium size t-shirt to make this one. At the shoulder of the t-shirt, I go down 45 cm which is the width from your shoulder to belly button plus 5 cm and drawing a horizontal line. After cutting by the drawing line, I cut the straight line in the middle of the front to open the t-shirt. At the end of the back, I go up 10 cm and draw a horizontal line there. Then, I connect two ends of the line to two ends of the front, then cutting. At the front, I'm drawing the lines to connect two sides of the neck to the end, then cutting. After that, I use the leftover fabric of the t-shirt to cut 4 pieces with 3 cm width. One piece to hem the neck and three other to hem the end of the crop top. At the neck, I sew one piece fabric to the neck at one side foot. Then, I fold the other side inside double time after that. The technique to do it is similar to making the bayer tap, then sewing. After finishing the neck, I'm moving to the end of the crop top and doing the same. Do the extra fabric at the end, fold it double time and sew in two.
and I finished this crop top. Here's my final transformation. It's easy to make with a few steps and also easy to mix and match. The second crop top is Ruffleham crop top. I used a last size t-shirt to make this one. The first step is drawing a horizontal line under two hands of the t-shirt. Then from there, I go down 25 cm, which is the width of your breadth plus 8 cm. After that, I draw another horizontal line from there with 2.5 cm. Then drawing two pieces with 3 cm. The big piece of fabric with 3.5 cm fabric will be the main body of the crop top. Two pieces of fabric with 3 cm will be the tie for the crop top. At the end of the big piece of fabric, I fold the end inside and sew it to finish the end of the crop top. After that, I draw a horizontal line at 4 cm from the end. Then, fixing the 2.5 cm fabric to the big piece of fabric at that line. Sewing at two sides of the two and a half centimeter fabric, but remember to keep a small unsewed space to put the elastic pen inside later. At the top, I go down three centimeters and draw a horizontal line. Then folding the end of the fabric to that line and sewing to create a fabric hole for the elastic band. Also, keep a small unsewed space too. I used two safety pins to put the elastic bands through the fabric holes. Sewing two ends of the elastic bands after that, then closing the holes. I cut two pieces of fabric with 3 cm into four pieces to make the tie for the crop top, folding them in half and sewing.
stain upside them by using a small safety pin. The last step is fixing the ties into the crop top. You can wear it to check the position for the ties first, then sewing. And I finished this DIY. Let's see my result. What a cute crop top! It's perfect for a small breast girl like me. The last crop top is up the shoulder smock crop top. To make this one, I use a lot size t-shirt. From the shoulder of the t-shirt, I go down 42 cm, which is the width from your shoulder to belly button, minus 5 cm. Then drawing a line there. After cutting, I finish the end of the crop top by folding the end inside and sewing. From the end, I go up 27 cm and draw a horizontal line there. Then, I draw a curved line from the hand to that line. I'll use a small elastic band for the top. So, I measure the width of the fabric I need to fold in first. Then, folding it for the whole neck of the crop top. When sewing, remember to keep a small unsewed space to put the elastic pen inside later. Because I don't like the curtain seam at the hands of the t-shirt, so I unsew them. Then I finish the end of the hand by folding it inside and sewing. At the end of the crop top, I go up 10 cm and mark there. I mark at 10 cm because the width from the neck to that mark will be the width of my bread. Then, I'm drawing the horizontal lines 1 cm away from each other from that mark to the end. At the hand of the crop top, I draw a line at 4 cm from the end. Now, I'm putting the elastic band through the fabric hole I created before. Then sewing two ends of the elastic pen after that and closing the hole. To the line at the end and at two ends, I'm making the shearing by using the elastic thread at the under thread and normal straight stitching. And I finished this DIY. Here's my result. 
I saw this crop top everywhere for summer top. So I hope you find the cheaper way to make it yourself for this summer. Hope you like this idea and give them a try. Subscribe to my channel for the very exciting DIYs coming this season. See you next week!